And James Harden, of course, crazy streak this season. What do you think of what he's doing right now? Well, I think he, I'm not a fan of in terms of winning championships. I don't think that style is ever going to win championships. But at the same time, you have to keep your team's head above water to win games. So you have to do what you have to do to win games. And he's doing that, right? So yes, before you say anything, I know this was an old clip. Kobe was talking about this a little while ago before John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins became Houston Rockets. But I still think it rings relevant today. I, th I still think James Harden on the Houston Rockets is going to be a lot, playing a lot of ISO ball. And I still think that what he said is still relevant today. So with that all being said, thank you so much for watching my channel and clicking on this video. We're going to be breaking down why James Harden will never win a championship in Houston. So with that all being said, let's get into the video. Before we get into the video and talk about why the Rockets and James Harden will not win a championship this year. I just wanted to talk about a few trades that happened and a few signings that happened with the Rockets this season. So John Wall is officially going to be a Houston Rocket and Russell Westbrook will be going to the Washington Wizards. The Washington Wizards also sent a first round pick to the Rockets for Russell Westbrook. And I think it was a good pickup for the Rockets, honestly. I mean, Russell Westbrook's contract was so bad, not much better than John Wall's. But John Wall, I think, after having rested for almost two years i think the last time we seen him saw him play was december of 2018 so he's literally almost rested for two straight years and so it'll give him a lot of time to have recovered and from what i've seen on videos of him on youtube and different things like that he seems healthy and definitely ready to come back and ball out this season so another player that joined the houston rockets this season was demarcus cousins demarcus cousins actually played with john wall in kentucky and John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins were able to make it to the Elite Eight that season, but unfortunately they lost to West Virginia. But I think they'll have fun playing together and reminiscing from their college days. I think they'll they'll do a lot of good together this season. Unfortunately, I do not think DeMarcus Cousins will be the player that he was when he was at the Kings or when he was on the Pelicans. I just see him having gone through so many injuries and so many different things have happened to him, whether it be Achilles, ACL, all the different injuries that he's had over the, the last year or or two and I don't see him being as dominant as he was before I mean he's a very big man and he has gone through an Achilles injury and a ACL tear I don't think he'll come back exactly the same I think he'll be productive for the Rockets but I don't think he'll be the 25 point 12 rebound player that we remember him being when he was on the Kings or the Pelicans that being said I wish Marcus Cousins the best and I hope he does his, he proves me wrong this season I just don't see that happening let me know what you guys think of these additions to the team, DeMarcus Cousins and John Wall, and how are they going to fare with James Harden on the Rockets. First, to understand how these people will fit with James Harden, we have to talk about usage rate. To understand usage rate, it just basically means that the play was called for them. In other words, they took the shot, they made the assist to the basket, um, or they did a turnover or anything of the sorts of that nature. And last season, James Harden's usage rate was 36.2%. So that means that 36.2% of the plays were called for James Harden last season. And I, I think this is very, very high. 36.2% comes in at fifth in the league this season, just behind Luka, Giannis, Tyler Zeller, and Malik Newman for Cleveland. I think that was super, super high. And I think that's gonna be a hindrance to the team that they have this year. I don't think John Wall is going to touch the ball as much as he should. And I don't think DeMarcus Cousins is going to touch the ball that much. The ball doesn't really go around that much in Houston, honestly. You see James Harden running a lot of ISO plays. And as Kobe said, that's not going to be winning basketball. Now, we don't know if James Harden is going to play the same style of basketball. This last season, Mike D'Antoni left the Rockets. And they signed a new head coach in Steven Salius, who has been a longtime assistant coach for Rick Carlisle at the Mavericks. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what Steven Silas' play style is, as this being his first time as a head coach. I mean, he is under Rick Carlisle, but as every person does, they have their own little flair and different touch they have to the game. So we'll have to wait and see what Steven Silas changes in Houston. I mean, if James Harden stays there, that is. But 
I don't think the Houston Rockets are going to change trade James Harden in the beginning of the season. I mean, they have no reason to. If they need to trade him, they'll be trading him by the trade deadline in February. But with that being said, I just think that James Harden plays too much iso ball to be the franchise player. I can see James Harden joining up with people, someone like Kevin Durant or joining up with someone like, let's say, LeBron, who is an alpha and who has brought their teams to championships. But I just don't see his iso ball working to win a championship. Yes, I know this is very, very harsh to say that I don't think James Harden is a number one option that can bring your team to a championship. But let's break it down a little bit. If James Harden is going to ISO at the top of the key as much as he does, basically James Harden's play is to ISO the top of the key and get a pick and roll and have shooters in the corner. I think it works very well in the regular season when you don't have a lot of time to match up and to research the team who you're going to be defending, aka the Rockets. But when you're in the playoffs, it's easy to key on James Harden's top of the key pick and roll because they have so much time to prepare for it. They know exactly what he's going to do. In other teams, when you have ball movement and other people moving off the ball, it's harder to defend that because you don't need to focus. You need to focus on all five guys instead of focusing on only the two guys that are within the pick and roll. So, just as Kobe said, I don't think James Harden ever will win a championship running this ISO ball. Now, if we get more ball movement and more work work around the perimeter and things like that, or player movement, I think the Rockets can be very good this season. I still don't think they'll win a championship this year as currently constructed because of the other teams that have gone better, like the Lakers and the Portland Trailblazers, and I still think the Clippers and the Mavs are better than them. I think they'll come in around a sixth or seventh seed this next season. But we'll have to wait and see what Steven Silas does with does with the team and how he constructs the team. So comment down below where you think the Rockets will land this next season. How good do you think the Rockets are? And do you think James Harden can ever win a championship as a number one option? Or do you think he needs to join a place like the Nets and join his forces with KD and Kyrie to be able to win a championship in the league today? So to close this video out, thank you so much for watching my channel. I can't say it enough how much I appreciate every single one of you. Currently we have about 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, drop a subscription down below. It really means a lot to me as we're on the road to 1000 subscribers. So again, thank you so much for watching my video. Drop a like down below. It really helps the YouTube algorithm out and helps more people view my videos. So if you like videos like this, drop a like down below. And until next time, I'm Hoop Rat.